eclectic modern comfort food with global techniques, classic techniques. I think being a second generation Canadian with a Korean background, Korean food is something that I really associate with enjoying while seeing other people that look like myself, which isn't necessarily something that could be said about other kinds of cuisine that I grew up eating. Um, and so I guess as someone who's never, who's Korean but has never been to Korea, um, it would really strengthen that connection with me to my heritage that I haven't really had a chance to explore fully in my life. Uh, the inspiration for the dish came from uh, summertime and how I like to eat in the summertime. Um, we spend a lot of time outside with my two young kids and it often doesn't leave very much time to cook a meal afterwards. And so when I want to eat, I want something that's healthy, that's light, that doesn't make you too full, um, and that is quick to prepare. So uh, noodles sort of fit the bill with lots of raw vegetables that don't necessarily require a lot of cooking. That's where the in, uh, inspiration came from. I think uh, the flavors and the spiciness uh, came to play in the sauce. When I think of Korean food, I think a lot of fermentation. And so the water kimchi is a very simple lacto-ferment uh, that uses purslane, which I guess is a bit more common in North America than it is in Korea. Um, I've seen water kimchi made with toramur, which we do have here in North America as well, but purslane, uh, purslane is so abundant here, and I thought it would be a nice, uh, a nice play on that type of water kimchi. So the noodles, of course, are, are boiled, then rinsed and drained. Uh, all of the vegetables that are tossed in with the sauce are raw. Uh, there's apple, cucumber, radish, and carrots, and red pepper. And then we also have some raw tofu on top uh, with uh, chiffonade greens. So there's horseradish leaf. There is mint, there is arugula, perilla, and then a little bit of green onion as well. Uh, finished off with a little bit of toasted sesame seed. And then the side of the purslane water kimchi. Um, when presenting to the table, we only put in the purslane and the radish with the water, not the other things like the the apple and the ginger and the garlic. So it's a it's a basic lacto ferment. It's a two percent salt to water ratio. So I salt the purslane and the radish first with like garlic and ginger, and then I add water and remaining salt half an hour later with the apple, and then I also put in like a tea bag of um, pochugaru, but that gets taken out after a day or so. And then I just wait until it's at the desired fermentedness. So the sauce is uh, gochujang, gochugaru, sesame oil, soy sauce. There's a little bit of maple syrup in there for sweetness and then a little bit of um, rice syrup as well. And then uh, some minced raw garlic and ginger. And then some sesame seeds are added at the end, like after it's been blended so that they don't get all ground up. 